What's happening, Palooza Party? It's your girl Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Welcome to one of my more highly requested videos. This is How to Play Udapri Shining Live Part 2. Well, not Part 2, but 2.0. A lot of things have happened since this game has first started, including me learning how to play it. So here's a different tutorial of how the game is going as of May 2nd, 2021. Kamu's talking. Everybody, everybody be quiet. Kamu's talking. Okay, so we're going to start here with your home screen. This is pending that you have loaded and installed the game. One of, one of the most frequent questions I get is, how much space do you need to load the game? A lot. Uh, this is the biggest thing I have on my phone right now. Uh, I would say in order to be able to play this game without constantly having to delete things from your phone, and this is on an iPhone, I'm not sure how it is on an Android, I have an iPhone XR, um, and I would say keep between 9 and 10 gigs free just for this game. This game is a big boy, he's a chonker. Um, and you need a lot of space to play him. If your phone says you don't have enough space to load the game, you might not have enough space to load the game. Um, so you'll have to delete things off your phone if you want to play this game on your phone. I, I can't free up space on your phone for you. You have to decide if it's worth it or not. So you need a lot of space to play this game. Once you load it, you'll go through everything. You'll put in your username. You can create an account with K-Lab if you would like to in order to restore your game if you are ever to um, break your phone, lose your phone, something like that. Uh, personally, when I got a new phone, I just put my um, old iPhone backup onto my new phone um, with my phone number and my SIM card and everything transferred over. I didn't have to... Um, re-download the game. I didn't have to put in my K-Lab account, which I did make. You don't have to, but I did make a K-Lab account, didn't have to put it in. All I did was uh, put my SIM card into my new phone and reload everything and it came right back up. I didn't lose anything. All right, so there's all these buttons on here and you'll have to excuse my little touch button, my assistive touch. I have assistive touch on my phone just because I have a weird case on it and I can't always get the buttons to push, so I have assistive touch on my phone. Also, my screen is cut off because the iPhone XR screen is too big to put. Um, it doesn't fit in the video, like the 1072 by however many P um, videos that are the standard size. It's too big, so my screen cuts off, so like you'll see that I can only punch over a certain amount of ways. So apologies, my screen is slightly cut off. So once you've got the game loaded and you're on your home screen, here's the basic things of what you have that you can do. Um, over here, we have the event box. See where the little sparkles are? You touch things, there are sparkles. That shows the current or just recently finished event that's going on. Right now, it's the, sh the show collection event. And I already have videos on my channel about how to play collection events and how to play set list events. I don't know if I'll update those. If you guys think they need an update, let me know and I can do another video on, on those. And here's the translation box where it tells you what the idol is saying, like right now. He, yeah, attention. Kamu always wants attention. Um, so that's the translation of what he's saying. And if you touch him, he talks. Um, also, normally right here when you touch him, you would get a bond bonus. Every time you touch them, you get a plus five in bond. And we'll go over what those mean and what you can get with those in a little bit. But you can only touch them three times um, in a row per hour. That will count towards your bond score. And I've already done mine this hour. So but it normally would pop up here. It would say plus five bond. My bond with Kamu is like 340 something. It's stupidly high. Then we have all of these boxes up in the corner. If you tap the one all the way on the left that has the little person on it, it takes away everything on the menu. So you can just take screen caps of your boy and the cherry blossoms fall in, whatever you want to do. And then the next one is you turn your phone around into portrait mode. So you can tap him and do bond stuff like that. You can also turn the translations on and off. Uh, this one 
if you tap the next one, what you do is you change that to um, the camera function. I have not allowed this to go to my camera, but what happens here is that this background goes away and you can take a picture of your idol in front of like whatever you want that's on your camera. And then this button here is new since the first update. Um, you pick a second idol and you can have them talk to each other. So here's Kamu. You can change his clothes. And you can add, you can change the background, change the clothes. I need to add an idol. How do I do that? Do I just push this button? Yeah, so for the second one, you can just push whoever. And then you can have them talk to each other. Um, this is this, this button right here. Uh, you can also take away the translation boxes. Now they won't always talk to each other. Um, you have to have your bond and your heart link up high enough for them to talk to each other. So I don't know if my heart link between Kamu and Ranmaru, oh I have them matching, that's smart, is up high enough, but see he's like talking about Kamu but he like won't talk to him. My bond between them might not be high enough to have them talk to each other, but you can change their clothes by pushing these, and then you can change the background by pushing this last one. Um, it's a cute little feature when you can get it to work, but you have to do a lot of things to get it to work. And we'll talk about the bond and the levels and all that stuff shortly. Okay, we got everything on this side of the screen. Now let's go to the right side of the screen. So up at the top, you have your stat boxes. Um, you have your level. Right now I'm at level 253. The higher level you get, the better. You always want to get a super high level if you can. Um, the higher up you are, the more it takes for you to get to another level. Right underneath that is like the, the bar that shows you how far you are to get to the next level. So I have 60 more percent to go to level 254. All right, right underneath that is your bangles. Um, these are memorial bangles. So you collect bangles basically um, if you missed an event like a card in an event or just an event all by itself. Um, you can not replay the event, but you can get the cards and the stories from the event if you collect enough bangles. So let's click on it and we'll go to the bangle store. I've played every event, so I can't get any of these cards. Um, I No, there's one card that I can get, that Natsuki you are, that I will have to get... Um, Remember the time when the game broke and wouldn't let us finish the event and log in for it? I remember that time. So that's the only event card that I'm missing. So once it recycles, you get two, um, two sets of event cards per month. And you have to use your bangles every month that you can't hoard them. <laughs> like you have to use them all before they reset at the end of the month. So right now, if I had 30,000 bangles, I could pick any of the UR cards um, or for 10,000, I could pick any of these SRs, but I already have them. If you already have one, at least one copy of them, you cannot get them. And what they give you instead is a UR pass or an SR plus pass. So basically every month, if you collect 30,000 bangles, you get a UR. I have been able to get between one and two SR Plus passes per month. And then with your leftover bangles, you can get stuff from the bangle store. So if you missed the event stories, you can buy event story passes to unlock the chapters. Um, they'll give you five prisms a piece, but we'll get, we'll get there. Um, you can unlock the main story passes to unlock main story chapters. If for some reason it, you just, didn't don't have main story passes and you get main story passes as your level goes up for free you can get the gem microphones to um moment up your cards you can get big special <laughs> gems to moment up your cards you can get xp boosters which not gonna lie is where i spend most of my extra bangles um usually on this one and this one these medium ones oh god i need them i just i need them and then you can also get skill boosters and sub skill boosters. But like I said, this set of the Memorial Bangles ends at May 31st at 10 a.m. Central Time. So you, well, 9.59 a.m. Central Time right before the reset. All right, so that's the Bangle store. Um, up here, this pink bar with the um, music note, that is your LP. 
you need LP to play songs. And depending on the difficulty of the song and if you want to boost it or not, you need more LP to play a song. The least amount of LP you'll need to play a song is 10 LP, I think. Five or 10, I think it's 10. And the most amount of LP you'll need to play one song is 75 if you play on pro or master difficulty with the three times bonus. We'll get there, all right. And so you get one LP point every three minutes. That's what that timer ticking is showing you. And right now I have like 78 LP out of 292. You get one LP point extra every level you gain, but you start off with like more than one, obviously. And you can hit that little plus sign to add more LP to your bar. You can buy it in the store. We'll get to the stores. Or um, if you are a Shining Live Pass subscriber, if your, bar, if your uh, plus sign is pink, you get one free LP recharge per day. I've talked about this in the spring 2021 update video. I'm not going to go through all of it again. But if you want to know more about the Shining Life subscription, which I have, uh, you can go check out that video. And then finally, on this side, our prisms. This is your prism count. It's your lifeblood here. This is how you scout for cards. You do the photo shoots. You need a lot of prisms to live. And then by clicking on the plus sign, you can go to the store where you can buy more prisms. New in this update is the job bus. Okay, so... I hate jobs. <laughs> jobs are such a waste of time. Um, you can do three jobs at once. So you go through this list and you pick out the jobs that you want to do and they give you different rewards. So I've already got three jobs going. So I have, this is the job that I will always do. Every event you get collection or um, set list, you get a special job to you and uh, you can only do that job five times a day. It gives you event points. So um, those are the jobs to do. This is also a special event. It's a spring 2021 campaign jobs job. It gives you uh, pink campaign points. And then Family Mart is the other campaign that's going on right now. Anything that says limited are the ones you wanna do. That gives you photo shoot points if you do it three times a day. Uh, these will go away eventually. And then you have all the normal jobs. Um, if you see the time required, that's how long it takes for you to do the job and basically how long you have to wait before you can collect rewards. You don't have to do anything. You just have to set your cards up to do the job. Um, so normally, if I need to do normal jobs, I will do radio show recording because it's quick and it gives you XP bubbles. I will do um, music show recording because it gives big... Um, big special gems and it gives microphones because those are hard to get and then I will do movie filming because it gives special it gives you the yellow XP bubbles the special skill bubbles which are also hard to get I'll do those three I know it takes a long time to do those but I don't need like the gems or anything that the other ones offer let me see if I could click on these so what you do is you put your cards in you set it up you could do auto to just set it up randomly or you can edit to edit which cards you want to put in there um i found if you put urs in there it gives you better rewards um but if you click on bonus photos it'll tell you the ones that will give you better rewards so all of the right now all of the urs that are like the elves the elves the elves <laughs> and the robots and the wolves um, everything basically in the special photo shoot and then the event cards going on will give you better rewards. Um, I put those all in the in this one, in the the event limited one, because it gives you more event points. The bonus photos will give you more event points. And really, that's the only reason to play that event so like i said you can do three at a time once the time is up you just click on it you collect your rewards and then you can start it again or you can be done whatever you want to do with these um they say to use photos that are not currently in any of your units this one's kind of like i autoed this so it is what it is um but like 
This eye card, this level 70 with the crown, you don't want to put that in there in case because it's big, you want to play with it. But all the other ones, um, you want to make sure they're not max level because you will gain experience and you will gain bond for all the cards that are in these once the job is over. Um, I also find putting all of the same character, like all Ragies, all Eyes, all Masatos, um, obviously that'll give you a higher bond. So if you're looking for bond, put them all of the same character. I would suggest putting URs that aren't fully um, maxed because you also get experience for them. So that's jobs. Personally, I think jobs are a huge waste of time. Unfortunately, there are um, whatever's the next thing I'm going to talk to you about that I can't remember this check mark thing. <laughs> the check mark thing, there are uh, what the fuck are they called? Oh my god missions there are missions every week or every month where you have to do a certain number of jobs most of the time it's a huge waste of time before we get there though before we go to this bar down here let's look at this box it basically gives you um notifications of things that are going on right now so you could buy the premium shining box you could buy these sets these are all you know new special songs in the lineup these are the URs that came in the Memorial Bangle. So if you're looking for stuff that's brand new to the game, you want to click these. And if you click them, it will just take you right there. So I just clicked on the campaign photo shoot. Oh man, I just realized how much we have to go through and it's a lot. We haven't even gotten to the bottom of the screen yet. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> All right, so that's on that box. Then we have these things right here. All right, so you click on the smiley face. This is your friends list. Um, this is all of the people that you are friends with. You get 100 friends and no more. And, uh, I have 100 friends. So, um, in the, in the first video I made, I said, Hey, add me, we'll be friends, <laughs> but I don't have any spots. Um, if you do have spots or you requested somebody to be your friend, you can add them here. Um, People, when they add you as a friend, send you an invitation. You can pick them up here. And here you can search by username. You can search by player ID. Like, there's my player ID if you want to search for that. Um, but yeah, and these friends um, will help you play the game. And I will show you how coming up. I like, like, I love it when my friends change things in order to help in events. Like, that's awesome. So we're going to stop that for now. Okay, here in the envelope is your notifications list. So, hey, there's a new event going on. Here's how to how to do the event. Like, here's the rewards that you can get. And you can read this and it'll tell you like what kind of um, cards you need to change to in order to get the biggest bonus, all that kind of stuff. It tells you the songs that you'll do and how to play the events. Again, I've done <laughs> videos on how to play events, so I'm not gonna go through that. It tells you about this month's update, the campaigns. You always wanna read this once. Um, and then this is other is usually, hey, we fucked up or we're going to have maintenance. Um, then you see it and you say, do not display again. So it won't keep popping up every time you click the envelope or every time the game resets. Um, this, like I said, is your missions and you can get free prisms or you can get rewards from doing your missions. Like here's my weekly missions. 10 prisms if I log in three days this week. Another 10 if I log in five days. You know, these are all the missions that you'll do in order to get bangles and prisms and photo shoot points and LP. And then monthly, the same, except these missions are obviously take longer. Uh, these are the ones for the event. So if I play 50 songs through the whole event where show is one of the singers, I get corsage bonuses. And then your normal bonuses, um, if you every 10 or 20 player levels once you get high up you get 10 prisms you get every five photos you get a microphone um every five posters you five or ten posters which i'll show you you get prisms like you log in for a certain number of days you get prisms 1200 days call y'all coming up 1200 days that's a lot of days Somebody called me and cut off my screen recording. How rude. Anyways, you can play and get ultimate combos on stuff to get more. If you are just at the beginning, there's a ton of missions you can do to get free prisms. Like all of these. It's a lot. So, uh, but once you clear them once, you can't clear them again. Okay. Present box. <laughs> We're almost done with the main screen. 
present box holds all your presents. You can get a shit ton of them. Um, right now, all I have are LP that I'm saving in my present box, but like extra cards go in here, prisms go in here, photo shoot points, anything really that you can get in this game. Gems can go in your present box. I think you can keep up to 10,000 presents in your present box. Personally, I like to clear my shit out as quickly as possible and just keep LP in there for events that I'm going to tear in. So there's that. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. We've got the bar at the Hi. bottom. So here is your main menu at the bottom. You can turn it on and turn it off. That's a new feature from before. Before it was locked there. Um, so this is your main screen. You click main, it'll go to your main screen. Story, it will take you to your stories. Um, every time you get a new story, whether it be a main story, a side story, or an event story, every chapter you read for the first time, except for the fully voiced event stories, you get five prisms. So you can either wait until you need a whole bunch of prisms and then collect them all at once, or you can um, clear out your stories as soon as you possibly can and get the prisms for them. So right now I got three new cards. Um, so I have three sets of stories to read. I will tell you right now, uh, do not put your stories on YouTube because they will give you a copyright strike. But these are all the Ren cards that I have. If you look in here, um, I'm missing these two. Oh, I used to have every single Ren card and then it, 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 it was like, no ma'am. So you can go through and you can read your stories again um, but we just got one, so I'm going to show you what it looks like, this Yatagarasu. And so these are the new stories. Um, you do need to get them when you moment up your cards, which I'll teach you how to do. Um, but out of this card, I'm going to get 10 prisms. Um, so I just would click the story to read it, and once I was done reading it, aka it'll play like a little video, um, there... Are these fully voiced? I don't remember. But anyway, it'll play a little video, you click through it, and at the end you get five prisms. You do that. And then at the last episode for an SR and the last two episodes for a UR, you get a poster with each of those. And once you collect a certain amount of posters, you get more prisms. So I like to read my stories right away. I have three I have to do because I just got those cards. And then event stories. It will show you the event that's currently open that has stories at the top. And then you read each of these chapters. You get event story passes from playing the event and playing up high enough to get them. Or you can buy them from the Memorial Bangle store. You read each of these. You get five prisons each. Um, and then sometimes you will get the chance to get a new wallpaper depending on what the event is. So there's that. And again, I'm a little behind, but I do suggest... I'm not one to hoard my stories, so I suggest reading them as soon as you get them, just so you remember that you have them. Okay, and then main stories, you start these when you play the game. These are the easiest things to do. They are real behind on the main stories, fam. As you can see, I have 107 main story passes um, because I've read all of the chapters, and you click on these. And it tells you here, you get three episodes in one, um, you get some prisms when you're done, and you unlock songs in the main game. So there's like 18 main story chapters so far. Clearly, they need to do some more because I have 107 that I could use and they just don't have them. I think we maybe got one set in the past year um, and then we didn't get any more. Okay, so we're done with the stories. Now let's go to Idol. All right, we're going to idle and this will show your bond with all the idols. You can um, heighten your bond by putting more of the same idols in each unit or by doing um, campaign songs that will increase your bond. Um, so obviously I, <laughs> I have more high level commu cards than any other idol. So uh, his bond is the highest, followed by Ren, because I also love Ren. Um, oh my god, I finally got all of them up over a... Oh no, I didn't show. You're holding out show at 95. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so we'll click on we'll click on one that's not my favorite, just so you can see how this works. I'll just click on Ren. 
So you can set the background and the outfit for each idol, even if they're not set as your favorite. To set them as your favorite, you just click this button and they'll be the person with the background and the outfit you choose that will go on your main screen. When you're in here, you can see the bond that you have, how close you are to the next bond. Um, you can go in the closet, you can change their clothes, you just click on any of the cards you have that you've moment up, momented up appropriately. You can change their clothes. See, look at that. Clothes. Um, I've got to remember to change that. You can look at all their posters. So you just click on these and you can scroll through all the posters that you've collected by reading your stories. I'm missing some. <sighs> Sucks. Okay. Um, you can change the wallpaper in the back. And I have all of the wallpapers because I have an excess of microphones. So you can change the wallpaper. No, I don't want Christmas to whatever you want. Um, let's just do this night thing. You buy wallpapers in the metal store, which we'll get to. So just click that and now he's Ren in the school uniform on the night street. Um, and then the voice log will tell you, you can go through and read all of the, or hear all of the lines that you have earned by getting your bond up high enough. So like, and your heart link, whatever. Apparently I've gotten most of these. Nope, still going. So 320 is where you max out at bond level. So I don't know why, I mean, I got all of Kami's lines. And then you can see your heart link lines and I'll show you how those work in a moment. Your conversation lines, which is if you put them together on that screen, like I did with Kami and Ranmaru. And your limited timelines, which are for birthdays, um, white day, stuff like that. Sorry about that. It's now a clearly different day. <laughs> um, and I believe the last thing we talked about was the voice log. And finally on the idol page, we're going to go to Heartlink. And, oh, shit. Okay, so you can get up to level 5 on Heartlink if you look by the commu there and you see the little shine on the heart. Um, that's the only one I've gotten um, up to the max level Heartlink. What this is and how you get Heartlink is you have to play with different boys in your units and put their cards next to each other. So, for example, if my Ren were the leader in a unit and I had a commu card on either side of him, and I'll show you how to edit units, uh, I would get my heart link with commu up because they're in a unit together. I obviously have a lot of Ren cards and a lot of commu cards. They play together often. Oh my god, that motorcycle. Did you hear that? What the fuck? <laughs> so, um, and I don't have a lot of eye cards that I play with, show cards that I play with, so their heart links are lower than what it would be for another guy. Alright, so we're done with idols. We're done with them, right? And then profile, you can read this. It's on the loading screen in the front. Oh my god! What? These guys are literally going like... 80 at least miles an hour down my street right now <laughs> so we've done this tab now let's go to the live show tab this is where you uh play the game here are all your normal songs you can play them on all these difficulties down at the bottom um and easy obviously is the easiest to do you can play these for as low as 10 lp per song normal is 15 hard is 20 pro is 25 and master is 25 Every song goes up to a pro difficulty, but not every song goes up to a master difficulty. And here's something that I learned that I should have learned a little earlier in the game. When I started playing, I'm trying to find one that's got a master on it. Um, here we go. Uh, so these song targets, you can earn prisms just for playing the songs. As you can see, I am terrible at playing, so I have not earned these prisms. Uh, but if you just play the song 10 times, you can earn on auto, on auto, you can earn these two rows worth of prisms. It's pretty great. Like, and this is on pro. Like I said, I'm terrible at actually playing the rhythm portion of this game. Awful. Most songs I can only play on hard. Like that's as high as I go. 
If it's a pro song, I can play up to maybe 10 stars without dying. Um, but the lower amount of stars down here where it says hard eight and pro, see this one I have combo bonus on, and pro 11, uh, you can see how hard, you know, in air quotes, the song is gonna be. Uh, and you can do this for master. So master has bonus prisms that you can get. If you look here, like literally you play the song on auto 10 times and you're good. And if you don't think you can even play it once on auto without dying, you only have to play it on easy. And then you can auto the rest of the difficulties. As you can see, I've actually played some of these on easy and gotten perfect combos with them. Hooray. Oh, these I have it. <laughs> I don't know. I try and milk the prisms out of all of them, but um, these are showing me that I'm not done. I, do I have prisms that I can milk out of these? Oh my God, you guys see? This is why I don't check. This happens sometimes. All right, so there's these. You click the campaign tab, and these are all the songs that are available to play in the campaign. For the most part, these will not give you prisms. See, they're giving you gems. We, Gems are okay. You need gems when you start out, but if you're at a high enough level, you're at the point where you don't need any more gems. That's where I am. And these songs will only be available for a limited time. Um, mariage. Why don't they spell it like marriage? Or is this actually like a Japanese title to the song? And I'm just being dumb. So if you look at these, they have things at the top called gem bonus, which their song targets will be gems. And then when you complete them, the bonus features that you get will be gems, like instead of bond or uh, whatever else you're playing the campaign songs for. I mostly just play these <laughs> if I want to hear the song. Hence why Bloody Shadows <laughs> has has things on it. I'll flip right to the frontier because this one's baller. Okay, so there's campaign and then up at the top usually you'll see the event tab. We've got the I event going on right now. Ooh, I need to play soon. <laughs> um, and here you can play the events. I've done separate videos on how to play all the events. Starting in June, we're getting a new thing called a town event. I will make a separate video on that. I've also made videos on how to make events or how to make teams but I'll go through a song for you so you can see how teams are created. So let's just do Bloody Shadows. We're gonna do it on pro. Um, what you wanna do when you pick your friend is you wanna pick a friend with the highest percentage of whatever color the song is. So this is a yellow song, it's a star song. So my good buddy Amanda has got vocal 70 because I filtered my things to only look at vocal because of the event going on. If you're just playing regular, it doesn't really matter if you pick vocal, if you pick dance, or if you pick shine. But if you are playing in an event, you're always going to want to um, change your units around to fit the event. So this is just some random ass unit. This is not the best anymore. I have not edited this in a very long time. But here's the unit that I would use to play this song. So this is my yellow unit. It's what I'm currently using to play in the I event. Um, my Kami with glasses is my leader because he is the highest yellow vocal card that I have. Um, if you look at, if you click them, you can change the cards around. See, like this run is a little bit higher, but he's red, so we don't want him. We just want yellows. So you can filter to change it to all yellows. And then the Tokia is a little bit higher, but he's not a vocal. So you want to, for your leader, you always want to pick the event type or whatever. So it doesn't really matter in this case because we're not playing an event song, but you always want to pick the highest of whatever you're going to shop your event out for. Actually, did I fuck this up? I might have screwed this up. So he's a vocal. I should have Tokia <laughs> as my leader for this. It does, sometimes it doesn't really matter. I know why I had him here and it's because I was playing a score battle and he's a perfect score card. So I put him there. Anyway, these are all the rest of my yellow cards where <clears throat> the vocal score is very high. Um, I have two copies of this Ragey Crowned. You always want to crown your cards so they're worth more points. Um, and these old URs, oops, you want to switch out as much as possible because they have the least amount of points. Like, 
Um, these two Halloween cards, because they were in limited gotchas, are worth more points than my two Shining Live Rages because they're old. So you always want to put your newest, most powerful cards in your unit that have the most attribute of what you want. I know that sounds really confusing. I've done a better job explaining this in the videos that are specifically for creating these units. So it's bloody shadows you want to match. I have auto on, which means I'm not actually going to play. I'm not going to push the buttons. I have repeat off, which means it's only going to play it once and then go back to the main menu. If you want, don't want to waste time or you're playing a song a bunch of times in a row, you can turn the repeat on. And I have boost off because um, I don't really care about this. Like, I'm only going to use 25 LP. If I turn the boost on, I could use 50 LP or 75 LP in one song. Then you just hit the start button and it'll play for you. Because I put it on auto. Or if you're better than me, which you probably are, you can play it yourself. You hit the notes once they go to the bottom of the screen. And actually, I will, like, show you an event song that... I will put on mute so I don't get a copyright strike and play for you because I'm going to have to play this anyways. So in order to get into the event, you hit event play and then I am, I'm at triangle beat. Okay. So I really kind of need some LP to play this, but it's not that great of a song. So it's fine. I'll just double it. So you're going to hit start live show because this is red. We're going to pick a vocal red. Thank you, Amanda, for changing your units to all 70% vocals. I'm going to add my boost up to two because normally I would do it on three, but I'm just showing this to you guys. All of the, the boys I want, that little puppy Otoya is my best vocal red card, and we're gonna hit start. then after that is over also the little cut-ins are what the cut-in bonuses are when like the idol goes across the screen and goes like matinee or something okay so we're done we cleared the live we have all of these rewards that we got and all the event points um we got experience we tapped the screen and everybody's uh level would go up but mine are all maxed out and then everybody's bond goes up and then that's it. And that's playing a song. Then you get rewards at the end of it. You cheer for yourself. Hooray. Okay, let's go to the gotcha. <laughs> We're getting there, fam. We're getting there. So are the motorcycles fucking going down the street. Okay, so here are all the gotchas. The ones with the prisms mean you use prisms to use them. These over here means you use something else. So the prism ones, right now we have a ton of gotchas. Um, and every day, if you get a Shining Live pass, this single, oops, this single shot right here will be, the first one will be zero. If you haven't used it already for the day, I already used mine on Commune, didn't get him. Um, you have an 11 shot that you can do. Oh, if you don't have the pass, you can do a single shot for 30 prisms. Over here, you have the single shot paid, which is 15 prisms. You can only do one of these per set that lets you have it per day. Obviously I did mine on Kamu. Again, I didn't get him. And then you can do the 11 shot, which it only gets you a, um, a guarantee of a, an SR card or a UR card in your last star. So basically you get 10 stars, 10 photos, and one extra that's going to be the good card, <laughs> hopefully the the better card um so these are all the limited gotchas sometimes they have ur rate ups like this one shining parties will always have a ur rate up this one has a ur rate up of four percent that's a good rate up and they'll have special sets of cards like this one has the love my idol third anniversary cards love it love it um this is the regular photo shoot try to avoid doing this one <laughs> as much as possible because you can always come back and get these cards now, after a year, well, after the, the first photo shoot is over, not these because these are UR sets, so I don't know what they're going to do with those. But after the month of the limited sets, they will remove these and you won't see them again for another year. 
After the year is up, they'll put them back in the normal box, which is where these go. And then after a year of them being in there, they'll remove them and put in new sets. So the cards at the very beginning of the game that came out, you can't get those right now because they took them out of the normal box rotation. Um, but you can get them in certain circumstances, like if it's somebody's birthday or a solo CD comes out, like they'll re-release them eventually, but it's not, it's not perfect by any means. So I'm still missing some super old cards, like Train Conductor Natsuki, I still don't have him. Okay, and then these shoots over here, they're different ones all the time. You don't use prisms for these. So like this one, if you buy a special pass, you are guaranteed a UR so you can use this shoot. This one is the pink campaign points, which in my opinion, I, I don't like them. They're just useless and they waste my time. Uh, you're not guaranteed a good card in this shoot. You're guaranteed 11 rares. It's fine if you just need cards or you want medals. But again, as a player who's been playing this for a long time, I don't need cards. I don't need rares. I don't need medals. So I don't need this. Points photo shoots are just normal box photo shoots that you spend points, these little blue things, um, instead of prisms. So this 11 shot will cost you 3,000 points. You can get them easily. I do about one of these a week. Bonus photo shoots. These are done with blue tickets and these are great. If you do one 11 shot pull in a limited box or like in any box really, as long as you, you know, use your prisms for it, you'll get one blue ticket. If you do a solo YOLO, if you collect, I believe it's 10 solo YOLOs, you get a blue ticket. Um, and with five blue tickets, you can pull a solo with a 10% chance of it being a UR. This is the best UR rate up in the game. And if you're guaranteed an SR, so there's no rares in here. I really love these blue tickets. They're worth a lot. Hey, editing GG popping in here to tell you that blue tickets are no longer given away on every set. They're only on specific ones. Now, if you pull 50 cards in the limited set, you're guaranteed a quote unquote pity you are. So just wanted to get that information out there because I did record this in May. Gold tickets, you are guaranteed to get an SR out of here. It says SR plus. These are only normal box photos. Oh, so are these, so are these. Just normal box, no limited. You're guaranteed a gold star, a yellow star, 2% UR rate. I think I've pulled a U out. I think I've pulled a UR out of here maybe twice in the, what, four years now? So, um, and then the UR photo shoot, you're guaranteed a UR. Again, only normal box photos. Um, these are hard to come by unless you pay for them or unless you exchange 30,000 bangles for them. So I get about one of these a month playing every day. <laughs> I know. All right, so we're done there. We're gonna go to lessons. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Maybe I should pause the video. Now we're on the lessons tab and here's where you do most of your maintenance for the game in order to get more points for all your fun things. And you will use the photos that you've gotten in the photo section here. Let's start with metal exchange. Metal exchange you use and you can turn your cards into metals. I don't recommend doing this unless you're out of photo spots or you really need medals for some reason. As you can see, I have a ton of freaking medals. I don't need them. But so see, I have an Atoya here, rare that's maxed out. And right next to him, I have a level one. I don't need him. You can use these to level up your cards. They level up um, the regular levels as well as the skill levels. I don't because I have a million skill bubbles that I need to to get rid of. So if I use the metal exchange for this, I'm gonna turn this Atoya into a silver metal. You can do up to 40 of these cards at one time. I do this a lot. Um, you, if you do an SR, you can turn it into a gold medal. If you do a UR, you can turn it into a premium medal. My advice to you is never, ever, 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 ever turn your URs into a premium medal. You can always start a second copy and then use it to play with. Medals, what can you spend medals for? Well, you can spend them for wallpapers. I bought them all, <laughs> I don't need them. Sometimes you can spend them for outfits. This was used once. Gems, you can buy gems with metals? You can, you can. You can buy um, microphones with the rainbow, the premium gems. You can buy 
special gems with the premium gems, large ones, gold medals, silver medals, little ones, whatever you want. You can also exchange medals for other medals. So 30 silvers will get you three gold and five gold will get you one premium. You can only do seven of these sets per week, which I haven't done yet this week. Uh, the only thing I do with these medals is I will buy the new wallpapers as soon as they come out. I will use them in crown challenges and I'll basically just replace them for other medals because I don't need anything else. All right, so we're gonna go up crown challenge. I made a video on how to do a crown challenge. I will suggest you watch that video. Um, but basically, if you have a fully maxed card, oh shit, I have two I gotta do challenges on. I don't think I have enough though. I don't. Um, if you have a fully maxed card, AKA level 70, you've momented him up all the way, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Um, and leveled him up to level 70 with the XP bubbles, you can do a crown challenge. You can do three crown challenges. Your silver crown costs one premium gem, one silver medal, and 300 little XP bubbles. Your gold crown um, costs 200 medium size and a, a gold medal. I don't remember how many of those. And then your um, platinum crown, your rainbow crown is 100 large XP bubbles, a premium medal, and then I think three of these or five. Um, you do this to up your dance, vocal, and charm, your attribute points. It's worth it. I crown challenge all of them. It makes it a lot easier to play events. Let's go back. All right, then we have moments. Moments you can use to unlock things like stories and outfits. You go into the moments and you wanna go all the way up to this point right here. I've unlocked this one already, um, but you get voice clips, you get um, your levels up, you get special shots with which give you stories, um, posters, you get an outfit you can dress them up in. I would suggest as soon as you get a new card, immediately going to moments and momenting that card up because then you can also um, update it to whatever level is the max you can do. Um, let's go to photo list. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's the list of all your photos. Um, you can move photos backstage. This is a new function. Um, if you don't want to delete them, if you don't want to like metal exchange them or feed them into somebody else in a lesson, you can move them backstage. I will be honest with you, I've never done this in my life. I don't, I don't really see the need for it. Um, unless you're really hurting on space and don't want to delete your rares for some reason. By delete, I mean metal exchange them or feeding them into another card in the lesson. So I'm just picking this random card. Okay, so cards eat things. They eat XP bubbles. They eat skill bubbles. They eat sub-skill bubbles. They also eat other cards. So you can feed the Satoya this rare and you'll go up levels here and you'll go up skills here and you'll also go up sub skills i didn't know they did that see even i'm learning something maybe these are worth it to feed your rares into your cards if they up sub skill at levels because these bubbles are hard to find anyway if you get a ur your max level after you've special lessened which we'll get into up to level is up to level 70 um an sr is up to level 60 and a rare i think is up to level 50. you always want to lessen up your cards to make them the most powerful possible and if you do it all the way to the max aka level 70 on a ur you get 20 prisms you actually get 20 prisms for every card you max out so i would suggest that if you want to get prisms and then we'll go to special okay. lesson Special lesson is if you have more than one copy of a card. So like you can see here, uh, I don't have any, hold on, maybe I can find a rare. Here, here's one. All right, so I have, I have more than, but I have two copies of this Tokyo card. I have this one and I have this one here. You can feed this card into this Tokyo card to make him raise his rank. And once you have five total copies of a card, so one card and then four extras, 
you max them level, you get their max level here, and then you feed them the stuff in the lessons that I just showed you, and you get 20 prisms. Special lesson, I recommend special lessening your cards. Lesson Some people don't want to do that, so you can have an entire aesthetic unit of like one or two cards. But y'all, y'all play how y'all play. I'll play how I play. And then finally, this is edit unit. This is where you can edit the units to be whatever cards you want as, and you can pick one to set as your main unit. I don't know why this is just random at this point so um it's not the best but yeah you can set one as your main unit and i have mine all done by colors i used to have ones here and then i didn't and then these i used to play sr only score battles which i have to redo because i have more powerful cards now uh, if you really want to i only suggest crowning your urs but if you want to have really powerful sr only score battle teams you can crown your srs Personally, I think that's a waste, but you do you, fam. All right, that's everything on this tab. Oh my God, now we've got the shop. You buy things. Do I need to explain a shop? I guess so. Um, this basically gives you all the different kinds of shops that you can use in the game at all. This is the regular shop that says shop, limited items. You get your limited prism sets here. Remind me to buy this one tomorrow. <laughs> Um, you can buy shining boxes, you can buy, don't buy these, these things with the coat hangers, don't, don't buy those. You can buy shining mega sets, um, these change whenever, and I already bought both of my shining boxes. I suggest if you want to buy prisms, you buy the shining boxes, they give you bonus prisms every day. You can buy prisms by themselves, I never suggest doing this. Always buy in limited items, because it gives you more for your money. LP, if you're playing an event and you need more LP to play songs, you can buy more here with prisms. Again, only suggest buying more LP when you're playing an event. Other photo slots, if you're running out of slots, they give you so many now. I don't know why now you would need more, but if you need five more, you can buy them for 10 prisms. And then the Shining Life Pass, which I can't remember if I talked about, but I know I talked about it in another video. Um, if you buy this, this is where you can get this. And it's, I think it's worth it, but I play a lot. Um, item shop, we've already looked at this. This is the thing with the gems and the metal exchange. Memorial bangle exchange, we've already looked at this. Um, what else we got in here? Metal exchange, we looked at this. And then collection points, this is only available during a collection event. And finally, we have other. Okay. Oof. All right, so album is pretty. Um, you can look at your cards, see which ones you're missing. I do that a lot. Player details. This is how you change your icon on your friend's screen. Whatever card is here will be your icon. And then these at the bottom, oops, are how you change your guest settings. So if somebody has you as a friend and they want to play with you in events, you can see like minor vocal 70 all the way. You can check stats like your heart link. And this is all stuff that anyone can see. Your bond, your play info. I play North Wind and Sunshine a lot. Is anyone surprised? Because I'm not. And my play level. Finally, Commu has taken up number one. It used to be Ren for forever. And Masato's all the way at the end. I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. You can also change your name. Um, for whatever, and you can change your quote. I haven't in a very long time. Uh, item zones, you can take a look at the list of everything that you have right now, everything. Game settings, you can change the volume. Um, I don't, I don't know, I never use these. Live settings, you can speed up or slow down things to however you wanna do it. Um, mine is just like normal. You can change everything about your live shows here. Account link. Uh, how do you use this? This is to link with your Twitter account and your KLab ID in case your phone dies. It's worth it for me. Help. You can get help on stuff. It's very vague. Contact. Again, very vague. You basically send an email. History. What is this? Oh my god, I can find out. Once again, interrupted by a phone call. Oh my God, you can see my history. Oh. Oh, this is just like item shop. Oh, it's only for 180 days. Okay. Oh, but I purchased like other things like the shining box. It won't tell me how much I paid for it. 
Oh, that's funny. Oh, I didn't even know you could do this. Photo shoots. Oh my god, it holds a thousand entries. Oh, and it tells you every single photo you got from every single photo shoot. That's funny. Gifts. Oh, okay. That's the gifts that you get in your gift box. Photos consumed. Yeah, this is everything that you feed your, your things. Prism pass acquisitions. Okay, this is fun. Prism pass usage, like used a free thing, used 15. And event items. I got bangles, bangles. Okay, so that's fun. If you really want to see how much money you spent. Um, related sites, you can go to websites here. Language, you could change your language. And that's it, guys. We went through the whole thing. I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm a little tired. Let's go say goodbye with Pirate Eye. So that's um, my Beginner's Guide to Udapri Shining Live Part 2. Normally I do not reply to comments, but if you have questions about the game, please feel free to leave them in a comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Or if anybody else can answer them, feel free to jump in and help out. Udapri is fun. I've met a lot of cool people playing this game and because of this game and I'm really happy to have it in my life, even though sometimes the gotchas torture me. Um, so I want to help as many people as possible play this game. Cheer for me, fam, when I try to cheer in the commu events, and I will cheer for you as well. <laughs> and that's going to be everything for this tutorial. If you like what I do and you want to help support my channel, I do have a Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash animepalooza, or my link is in the down bar. I post videos on most Wednesdays and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username is Anime Palooza at those places. And until next time, love your faces.